everyone welcome back to another episode on life insurance if you are in canada and are looking for companies which will provide you the best quotations best options for your sh- situation and if you're shopping around for life insurance then i recommend you see this video till the very end so what i'm going to do is i will pick up a very reliable site policyadvisor.com and i'll walk through the companies that are listed there talk about them why they are better why they are not look at the complete details that are provided there and uh, discuss them with you this is not a promotion video i am not promoting pro policyadvisor.com but i found it has all data driven research to make a good choice on life insurance so without further ado let's get started i have already spoken about the types of life insurance why you need life insurance and if you want to check out any of those videos you can check the link over here now that we have decided why we need life insurance how much coverage we need which companies do you go for if you are in canada so how do you decide that so according to the data of 2022 this is how this particular website has segregated it and i really like the way they have created this with data backed research So for simplified issue what do you mean by simplified issue generally for life insurance you first have to fill out an application once you fill out an application in the application you will be providing your net worth details your risk profile your health information and you also would give your bank details to see where the premiums would be collected from now once you provide all these details this goes into the back end team of the insurance company they look at all your um, your uh, age and then they look at your health condition the one that you have written by the way you need to be very truthful about your health condition when you fill out a life insurance application because even if you're not truthful your family doctor would have all the details and the insurance companies have access to your family doctor because you need to provide those details as well and when you go to a family doctor most of your information is updated into their directory so do not lie on your life insurance application so simplified issue basically means that they are not going to be too strict on the medicals and if you want to go with such a company in case you have some kind of medical problems then this is what something you can go for assumption life is a company that has a lot of pros when it comes to simple issue of product but they are they have very high policy fees and rider fees on non medical policies obviously because you are transferring the health risk to them so they are going to take up that particular options through some way and that is how they take high policy fees now if you are looking for affordability as i mentioned in my previous video you need to see that if it is a cheap insurance premium then you are giving up something like something like renewability now what is renewability renewability is basically the freedom or the option that the insurance companies give you to be able to get the same coverage once your current term has expired now this particular option is very important because you want to be insured for life because of estate taxes because of a lot of other things later on you will regret not having the correct coverage that you need so if you want a good coverage and if you're not able to renew that particular policy you may completely have to let go of insurance and not having an insurance is not a very good thing at least in the current world that we are living in so renewability is something that is important for financial strength so canada life is one of the largest life insurers and i have seen that these are also the largest group insurance providers so they have 396 billion dollars in assets and given their financial strength um these guys have rated it as the best insurance company for financial strength honestly i wouldn't be looking at financial strength if i am buying insurance so this doesn't matter to me
For non-medical policies, another good insurance provider is the Canada Protection Plan. Again, if you are unhealthy, if you are not eligible for insurance through the regular methods for a, a cheap insurance premium, then these are some of the providers who can come to your rescue. And but there are obviously problems with that. Your coverage amounts will only be limited to one million dollars, and you cannot get coverage more than this. Obviously, because you are transferring the health risk to this company, they are going to stop somewhere. in terms of giving you the best insurance these guys directly say cibc insurance is not recommended i have no idea why i have not dealt with them and my brokerage doesn't deal with them so i'm not going to talk about them you can look at why they are not recommended over here i'm going to put this link in the description below for stability they are recommending the dejardins insurance Uh, I think in terms of flexibility, Dejardins provides a lot of flexibility, and they have a robust set of uh, uh, different types of insurances bundled into one. I personally wouldn't recommend all types of insurances bundled into one for a client because, say for example, you are not eligible for critical illness insurance for whatever reason because of your family history. Note that for critical illness, the checks on your health are much much more stringent so if you are not eligible for a critical illness insurance you unfortunately lose even uh, getting a life insurance premium if you bundle all the policies together but if you are healthy then yes by all means go ahead with this kind of an insurance for families now equitable life actually is one of the very few companies which has a lot of products which are targeted towards a family even the RESP that they provide they generally provide keeping siblings in mind so in that way i can vouch for the fact that equitable life uh, does look at a wholesome solution for the entire family not just for one person so that's the reason these guys are rated as the best insurance for families Next we have the best insurance for quick issue options honestly i wouldn't care about quick issue because you are getting your life insurance for life right if someone delays maybe 10 days 15 days approve your insurance that's absolutely fine so apparently humania company hugo life insurance company provides quick insurance products i wouldn't honestly care about it. Industrial Alliance now this was one of the top 5 companies in terms of the financial strength so basically i can vouch for this company too they provide a lot of customizable options and i heavily use this particular uh, the products provided by ia because their insurance premiums are lower they have a lot of flexibility built in into their products and you can check everything online so it is extremely easy from a user point of view so this is one good provider in terms of flexibility ivari ivari is one such product where you can go like you can have multiple riders you can also have two different types of insurance products bundled into one you know term and permanent in one product so in terms of giving different layers of products ivari is one very good insurance company la capital is also something that i deal with and they have a very good term insurance product and they also have some very good options in terms of segregated funds which also come under the insurance umbrella um but overall it's a good company again it depends on the personal situation if someone um you know especially if you are in quebec if they say that you know this these guys cover even your estate fees now that could be definitely very good especially if you are in quebec so manulife we already know that you know manulife is one of the best companies out there in terms of digital innovation oh yes their customer support their digital uh, window 
all of this is really amazing i have been a user as well as an advisor for banner life products so from both the angles i can vouch for the uh, co company and they actually do a very good job in terms of customer service this is their key selling point overall Sun Life Financial, so in-person purchase, that's what they're saying over here, not through an advisor. If you want to go buy yourself, look at all the insurance products, if you're hell-bent on not trusting anyone, then you can probably go with Sun Life Financial. But I think my experience with them generally has been that they have very limited options. They also, you know, uh, their pricing is very, very high compared to other places. So take note of these kind of things when you go with it. Um, looks like TD Insurance has no recommendation. Again, I don't know why and I cannot speak for that. So again, I am not a promoter of policyadvisor.com, but I need to give them credit for this very good um, article that they have written. And it goes through all possible life insurance companies in Canada. And I have given you my take on most of these companies. Honestly speaking, it's not the companies that is important, right? It is about which product is the right fit for you and for your family and for your situation. So while you're going with any product, don't be too particular about the companies. Do your research, no doubt about it, right? Learn about the financial strength of the company. Learn about their claim settlement ratio. Make sure you're choosing a good company, but do not harp on that too much. Make sure you get a product which is right for you. Okay, at the end of the day. So I hope you found this content useful. And if you did, if you want to talk further about any of this, uh, do give me a call. Uh, my details are present below. And please do not forget to click the like, share and subscribe button. Thank you so, so much for watching. See you all in the next video. Bye.